welcome back so in today's lecture we'll be learning about middleware and this is part 7 of my asp.net course 3.1 series so if you haven't visit my visited my earlier lecture please do visit it it will be in the description part okay so in this lecture video we shall learn some very important concepts about middleware such as what is a middleware middleware used to add functionality and forming a pipeline combining middleware so in asp.net core and of course in 3.1 as well middleware are c sharp classes that can handle an http request or response each middleware component chooses whether to pass on the incoming http request to another middleware in the pipeline with or without any modification also pass on the outgoing http re response to another middleware or the asp.net core web server which is the final piece in the pipeline again with or without any modification we can do a lot of stuff with middleware the logging middleware can just receive the request and log its time of receipt and pass it on to the next middleware or another middleware now another middleware meanwhile can modify an image and resize it and return the image file to the user without passing it on so let's go over to the slide show again the endpoint middleware is perhaps the most important piece of middleware now this middleware class normally generates all html pages and api responses and like the image resizing middleware it typically receives a request generates a response and then sends it back to the user which will be shown in the figure one next okay so this is our figure one now here we are receiving a request at point one to the it is received by the logging middleware okay and it is passed by the asp.net core server to the request pipeline now this logging middleware notes the arrival time and passes the request to the next middleware which is here image resizing middleware for a request of an image of a specific size the image resize middleware would handle the request and return the response or otherwise it is passed to the next middleware okay now finally this is the final middleware shown here endpoint middleware which may not be the final after this there could be a few more in between but if the request reaches this final endpoint middleware it will handle it and generate a response now this response flows back in this direction so here it is reversed so this endpoint middleware where the response is uh, uh, i mean started i mean request is turned into a response this is also known as a terminal piece of middleware or a terminal middleware the response passes back through each middleware that ran previously like here 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 so while traveling through from left to right uh, this endpoint middleware was the last received so before that it was image resizing middleware before prior to that it was logging middleware but while it has reversed its travel now endpoint middleware is previous to image resizing middleware assuming that there is nothing in between and similarly image resizing middleware which was in the first path when the path was from left to right it was um, ahead or after this logging middleware now this is this comes before the logging middleware okay Now uh, this is a sort of pipeline. See, this is a sort of pipeline, isn't it? That represents the flow of request and response through the middleware component, and may be thought of as an abstraction of water flow through a pipeline. Now here, each middleware piece, like this one, this one, this one, all represent one piece of middleware. This could be thought of to be a section of the pipe. So together, these middleware form a pipeline that allows a request response flow mechanism now next comes let's see some common uses some common use cases of middleware are 
Now, irrespective of the resource requested from the pipeline or even the specific request path, there are common concerns or sometimes it is known as cross-cutting concerns in some literature. So these cross-cutting concerns for our application are as follows, associating a request with the relevant user, setting the language for the current request. I mean, when I say cross-cutting concerns or common concerns, like many of the applications, they have this these type of functionalities as required. So adding security headers to the response. So here is the common use cases figure two. Now in the cross-cutting concerns examples, the handling middleware would receive a request, modify it and pass to the pass the request to the next piece in the pipeline. The next one may use the details added by the earlier middleware in some way if relevant. Now coming to these use cases, so I have shown just three pieces of middleware which are very commonly used, authentication middleware, authorization middleware and the endpoint middleware. Now ASP.NET Core web server passes the HTTP request to the middleware pipeline okay, from this request, request pipeline and the response. Now the authentication middleware associates a user with the request because it finds out whether the user is um, authenticated or not. And the authorization middleware, this one, this was the authentication middleware and next piece in the pipeline is authorization middleware which uses this user associated with the request to see if the request can execute. Like for example, the request, if the request was for serving a particular page, particular resource, whether that user is authorized to be delivered with that resource or not. If the user is not allowed, the authorization middleware will short circuit the pipeline and the response passes back through each middleware that ran previously, like again back this way. Now the response is returned to the ASP.NET Core web server and this endpoint middleware is never run as the authorization middleware handled the request in this particular case because it was short circuited. So this authorization middleware acted as a terminal middleware. So endpoint middleware, middleware is never run or reached. So the key points to remember are from the previous figure and its discussion, we have an important point to consider in which that the pipeline is two directional and the request passes through the pipeline in one direction till it is handled by a middleware, in which case a response is generated and the flow is reversed through the pipeline and it passes through each piece of the middleware a second time, okay, after it's reversed by the terminal middleware which short circuits all the other middleware um, and the travel of the response is reversed, reaching the first piece of middleware this means that the middleware that was next to the middleware when the request was flowing through them becomes the previous middleware when the response travels back. Finally, the first or the last in the reverse direction, this middleware will pass the response back to the server. So we have seen that the requests are passed to the middleware pipeline as HTTP context in an earlier lecture. So that will be of some significance later in the course okay uh, and this http context object for an incoming request it passes up and down the middleware pipeline so in this lecture we have seen what is the definition of a middleware and how a middleware pipeline is formed and how you can combine and what is a terminal middleware